a short-term solution where you do it for like a week and then you're healed. Yeah. So I'm just going to continue doing this and see how it goes over the next uh, over the next few months. And if it keeps yeah. getting better and better, then obviously I'm just going to keep doing it until it's totally gone. We're also going on a cruise in next Saturday, so it'll be interesting to see what we notice um, when we don't have celery juice every morning, because it will be 10 days without celery juice. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard to notice the effects <clears throat> of something just because it's very mild, and I feel like it does build up over time because your body heals over time. And there's other things that we've been implementing with the medical medium protocol to just help our bodies out. Um, I don't know, we're just kind of hoping for healing in every aspect. I have realized through reading his book that I have adrenal fatigue and thyroid issues and so... Which could be maybe from... Which could mm. be from, I mean, just years of using Adderall and drinking a lot. This is like all before I was vegan, smoking cigarettes, not allowing my body time to heal because one thing that's very interesting is, so say when I was 188 pounds, my body had so much toxicity in it that it was incredibly difficult for me to like eat a really clean diet and that's one thing that i've noticed since drinking celery juice is i've been wanting to eat a lot more fresh fruit and vegetables so i've been having a smoothie pretty much every day and then i'll either have more fruit or i'll have a salad but it's so interesting to me because when i was really heavy i tried to go raw vegan and I could not do it. Like my blood sugar was all over the place. I was so moody, I was always hungry. And now it's very satisfying to me and I think that that's just because my body, through losing a lot of weight and eating obviously a very clean vegan diet for the last five years or six years, I have been able to really cleanse my body of a lot of toxins and get stuff out of the way so that, you know, when I eat fruit, my bloodstream isn't all messed up with all these other toxins and fats and things like that, just kind of screwing up the insulin response. So I think that that's very interesting. I'm not gonna be a raw vegan or anything ever, but I did kind of, after reading his book, I did kind of wanna do the medical medium 28 day cleanse. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, maybe we could like do it together. Um, I think it would be interesting to just see what happens, but I'd rather do it in the summer when it's warm here. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly. I mean, it is a totally raw vegan cleanse, yeah. which I think would be tough. And what's interesting about Medical Medium is that he promotes a lot of what we promote. So eating, you know, a plant-based diet. Yeah. Um, he doesn't include, like, does he include meat or dairy or anything like that? He, I think he does just to soften the blow for oh, people. Okay. He says, you know, it's okay to have it every now and then, or, you know, if you mm. eat it, it's fine, but you want to be adding as much fruit and vegetables and things like that into mm. your diet. It's very interesting because he even promotes a high carb, low fat vegan diet. And all of this is what Spirit has been telling him, you know. So, so, so wherever that comes from, he's promoting, you know, I mean, a, I, healthy, yeah. a healthy lifestyle. And he, he doesn't really, from what I've seen, obviously he promotes drinking celery juice every morning and then taking certain supplements. Um, but yeah. other than that, it's not like some, some magical pill or anything like that, it's like, you know, yeah. eating healthy, doing some celery juice, and maybe taking some supplements that might be specific to your uh, to your problems. Yeah, and it's nice because it's foods that come from the earth, and it's not like a ton of superfoods and things like that. It's really, you know, if you watch his Instagram page, it will say like how beneficial blueberries are and how they can relieve this and that mm. and, you know, metal loads and toxicity and things like that. Um, but it's very interesting to see your body like change over time because back in the day I could have never ever eaten as much fruit or been like raw or anything like that or even thought about doing a 28 day raw cleanse because I would have just died um, but yeah once you let go of like a lot of toxic fat and you've been eating clean for a long time I think those things are a lot easier and but... I think yeah and I think specifically for us like we're not going to notice like a huge dramatic difference just by including these things because we have been eating such a healthy diet for such a long time. Yeah. Whereas like a lot of the transformation photos that I see on his, on his Instagram is people that are coming from maybe even a keto diet or a standard American diet. Mm -hmm. And then they're including, then they're going fully plant-based, including celery juice, and then um, maybe some supplements as well. 
So yeah. just from like an observer watching like these transformations, it's like people are typically going from a very unhealthy diet to eating a healthier diet and then including obviously some things like celery juice as well. And yeah. so they're seeing a lot of benefits, which is, uh, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to just have another voice for, you know, the plant-based movement and all of that. But the benefits that I've noticed, so it hasn't been anything really dramatic, I do find this does help my digestion a lot and I feel like that's the biggest benefit that people say and digestion is so 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 important how many so's there <laughs> a lot because they're doing a lot of research like i've been reading so many books on just not even medical medium but other books kind of surrounding this topic and if your digestion is messed up everything is messed up like you're not going to properly absorb nutrients you might be eating more food you might be like really hungry your blood sugar could be really messed up you could be holding tons of toxic waste that is just constantly retoxifying your body because your digestion isn't getting rid of it and all these things. So digestion is like incredibly, incredibly important for your health, which I think is why celery juice helps so many people. That's really the biggest thing that I've noticed. And then I've noticed also that it has just kind of spurred me into wanting to eat even healthier. So having celery juice in the morning, then usually I'll just keep the juicer out and when I get back from the gym I'll make a green juice and then we'll make some kind of smoothie and then we have like a big salad and then we'll have like you know potatoes and beans and whatever yeah. like a normal dinner. starch based dinner that we normally have yeah I mean we, we don't do that every day like some days we just eat starch all day like yesterday I kind of did but mm. you know whatever it is what it is but absolutely just being able to incorporate more raw foods to get more enzyme enzymatic action going in your gut is really important to build up that flora just because it's so important like i said but yeah those are i mean that's basically everything that we've noticed mm -hmm. well no the other big thing that i noticed that derek didn't really notice is he, oh yeah that's right he yeah. has been having this annoying <laughs> Cough, <laughs> coughing fit i've had this coughing fit in the morning your whole, and like forever since I since I was in high school and it's like so he's it's like way yeah it's way before I was like vegan or anything like that and it's not just like he coughs it's like he's almost on the verge of throwing up like he's like mm -hmm. <coughs> like yeah. really really coughing coughing up a lung kind of cough I remember I went to an allergy doctor and he told me that it was just what my body did to get started in the day just having this like coughing fit. That's that's what he told me because I went to him because I used to have like bad allergies to grass and ragweed and trees. So I got back I got shots back in the day. And <clears throat> that seems so ridiculous. And he told me like I told him about this and he's like, "Yeah, that's it's just the way that your body kind of like wakes up and starts the day and kind of gets things going." That's what I remember. Um, but yeah, I've noticed like I haven't done it nearly as much. There's been like a few times here and there but it's not like an everyday thing where I feel like I'm gonna vomit or throw up. Yeah, because I didn't even do it this morning. I mean, I haven't really noticed you do it at all. Yeah. In the time. There's like, There's been like one morning that I remember maybe within the past two weeks that I did it. Which is so interesting because if you really think that this uh, <clears throat> like acne stems, because acne is probably Derek's biggest issue that you have, mm -hmm. that you focus on, comes from the streptococcus bacteria that is, you know, something that's like strep when you get strep it's in your throat it gets in your lungs like it makes everything hard it's hard to breathe it's hard to swallow it's hard to everything mm -hmm. so yeah maybe it was just kind of backed up in your lungs and yeah. in your digestive system or something i don't know but seriously he had the worst cough ever and i would just be it, it was yeah just, it would only happen for like five minutes so it wasn't like i was coughing all day long or anything like that it was just it was for a short every day yeah but it, it was, was every day and it was very it wasn't mild. It was. Very, <laughs> it was. It was kind of like The Exorcist or something. Yeah. It was so yeah, that's that's the other thing that we've noticed. I totally forgot about that actually. So my digestion's been pretty good since I've been vegan. So it's always been very consistent. Um, I wouldn't yeah. say that I've noticed like a dramatic improvement in it, but I mean I'm always very regular and consistent, and there's never really been an issue with that uh, mm -hmm. since I've been plant based. So. Yeah, but we're gonna try and do this. So for as long as we can. I mean, I really like the taste of celery juice, so I like drinking it. It doesn't mm -hmm. bother me at all. I actually look forward to it. Yeah. And it's not that big of a pain in the butt to do it every day just because then we can make a green juice or make some other kind of juice and 
just kind of continue on that healthy train. But it's so nice to start your day with something this healthy and then have like a green juice because I mean, I, I, the other thing I would say that I noticed other than just eating healthier food is that I haven't really eaten any junk food at all. Mm. Yeah, we've definitely cut down on the junk food. I would say starting your day with something like this, it makes it so much easier to carry on your day being very, very healthy. We'll probably continue this. Maybe we'll do an update at three months or six months or something like that. Mm -hmm. It'd be amazing if your skin was just like totally clear. That'd be really awesome. I yeah. love that. But yeah, that is pretty much our experience with celery juice so far. If you guys have an experience that you want to share down below, let us know. Um, or if you have any insight for us, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody who you think would benefit from it. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.